Hey everybody! Well today I'm going to do the news look that I've been talking about doing for quite a while. If you notice in the pictures that I uploaded at the beginning, uh, if you look really close you'll see really what is a nude look. The idea I would think is that you do the minimal amount of makeup that you can, accent a few of your best features, nice lipstick, a lot of mascara and off and running. But if you look really closely, you'll notice that a nude look really entails a lot more. And as I started to recreate the look, I realized, boy, it's really a lot more work than you would think it would be. So I think the most important thing in a nude look is that your skin looks as flawless as possible. So in order to achieve that, I did my normal morning routine. And the sunscreen that I chose to use today is my Prescriptus All Weather Friend. It's the SPF 40. This is really a nice, lightweight, high SPF sunscreen that's really great for using for this type of look where you want to keep it as bare looking as possible. So I did that and I let that set and then I went and I'm going to, instead of telling all of the colors, I'm going to put all the information down below because, again, because of that time limit. And I've been using my Armani foundation and highlighter and I mix these two together, apply them all over my face. Now what I would suggest is even for more highlighting is that after the look is finished to go ahead and re-hit the tops of your cheeks maybe down your nose, your chin, and the center area. What you should do is hold up a magazine and you can see um, as the light hits the face where the light is bouncing off and where those are the areas to highlight. Um, I think Lisa, Lisa D1 did that in one of her videos. It's a, it's a great tip. And so I used that and then I went in and because I wanted it to be an, a natural look, a sort of a out in the sun type of look and you know that I don't go and tan, I used my Chanel Bronze Universal and what I did with this is that I did it with a brush application, which I think works a lot better. And I just used an inexpensive small blush brush or foundation. It's really, whatever you have in your stash is really good enough. It goes on a lot nicer than it does with your fingers. And so I rubbed into that product and I sort of went all over because I wanted to give it a sort of glow tan type of look. And then because I wanted to also contour my face, I went ahead and used my Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And then I went in to define my cheeks, to narrow my wide chin and then to frame my face. So once that was all done I chose to use for um, my blush my new um, NYC color cream stick that I talked about in my last video and the way that I did this application was I used my MAC 130 brush and I rubbed it on the top of the blush and then just lightly stippled it in the apples of my cheek and blended it out just to give it a very small hint of color on my cheeks. And so the last thing that I did is I went in and used my concealer to just even out any kind of skin tones that I thought might be a little bit off. And I'm still using my Glow Minerals suppressed foundation that I don't like as foundation, but I do like as a concealer. So I went in and used that and then just dotted any areas that I felt that there were some imperfections. So that's what I did for the face to keep it that natural nude look. And I'll do the lipstick at the end so you can see the lipstick that I've chosen. Now for my eye what I did is I went to my old standby and I used my painterly. And what I'll do is I'll do my left eye as I'm doing this because my right eye is done. And I'm going to look over to the side because that's where my mirror is. I can put my lipstick on without looking but I can't put my eye makeup on without looking and I just put that all over and I like to do this with my finger because I like the warmth of my finger to um, sort of melt it into the skin and let it get a really nice application that way. And the next thing that I used was my Shu Yamira uh, white eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow. And what I use for that is this small brush that I have. It's actually a travel liner brush but I use it for this purpose. And I load it on both sides of the brush and then I put it right into the corner of my eye and blend that in. And then I also put it on the outside corner under my brow. And I do this sort of V motion here, which you've seen me do before. And then I pat that in to blend that. And I think that gives a more uplifting look. So the next thing that I did is I used um, one of my NYX trios. And this one is in Rock and Roll. And I only used two of the colors from this. I used a lighter beige and I used the brown. I didn't use the darker color. And the brush that I use for this application is my new, one of my new favorite, the paint brush. This is the Lowell Cornell Maxine Mop in the one half inch. And I use the lighter color, patting that in over the painterly. Right up to my brow just below where I put that white, although I go into the corner over here because there was no white and then under where I put that white and pat that in.
And the next thing I do is I use that middle brown color and I do the V. Now I'm using the same brush. You can change brushes if you want, but I'm pretty good with using this brush. And I go to the outer V and then I draw and then I drew it into the crease because I wanted to define the crease, but I don't want to go above the crease line because I want it to be only as a definition. I don't want it to show. And then I use my Sigma SS224, the blending brush, and I blend that all in. And then depending on how much definition you want, you can go a little bit heavier if you want to, or you can go a little bit lighter if you want to also. So for me what I did was for a liner, and now you can do a couple of things. You can leave it just the way that it is if you want it to be really a nude look and do a lot of mascara. You can do a light brown look if you want, but I've been really loving doing this look with my Stila eyeliner in the indigo. It's just, I don't know, it just gives a certain pop. The blue really pops the green in my eye. Uh, if I do it really close to the lash line, it makes my lashes look really thick. So that's what I've been using, but you have a choice. You can use no liner, you can use a brown liner, or you can use something with a little bit more color. And I just go and draw this right into the lash line. These go, this goes on so nicely. And I do flick it up at the end, just slightly. Now what I did for the bottom lashes is I went back to the brown from my NYX Trio and just very lightly just to give some definition under the eye and I brought it up to meet the top color. Then I finished up with my mascara. I used my MAC Prep and Prime to prime my lashes. And I'm using my Dior Iconic in black. I pretty much always use black mascara. I think it just, just sort of goes with everything. Although in the summer, when I like to play around a little bit, I use one of the uh, Maybelline, the blue mascara, and I do the tips of my lashes, which is a lot of fun. And this I bring right, I'm not one for curling my lashes, as you know, so I bring this really close to the lash line and wiggle it to keep the strength of the color at the base. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips and I'm using sort of a nude shade. And I like to draw it into my lip too which I think makes sets the lip color better. And the lip color that I've chosen is the Rimmel 620, the Spotlight Beige that I talked about. And there you have it. That's my nude look. So again, I have to say that for me, I think that a lot of the pictures that they're showing today in the magazines and a lot of the looks that they're showing for the nude look is really not what I would consider nude. What I would probably consider nude is definitely putting my sunscreen on, maybe concealing up a little bit of the imperfections, a little bit of blush, a lot of mascara, and a really nice lipstick. That would be my idea of nude, but this is what they're doing, so I thought I'd recreate it for you. Hope you like it. Talk to you soon.